I think a lot of what feminists uh, 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 critique Christianity for is that it's because God becomes a male, uh, just half of human, they feel excluded from this. Whereas in Islam, of course, God is not male or man. This is just a linguistic convenience. God is not in any way human. He's completely unlike us. So the whole human race is embraced by his rahmah, his mercy and his compassion. When Christianity, many families say, they feel excluded because God had chose to identify as a man rather than as a woman. And it's a problem for them. I'm not saying I agree with that, but it, it's what they say, that, that Christianity is, anti is, is not very embracing of women because God doesn't identify as a woman, but as a man. Um, that's what they say. I don't think that uh, that's a big argument to have. I think there's big arguments to have, but I think there's an even bigger argument to have for those people trying to make themselves genderless, like the perceived notion mm. of God, yeah, 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 yeah. and making themselves perceivably God themselves, yeah. and having their own subjective dominion of morality. Mm. I think that's a far, far bigger issue. And that comes from the opposite side of Islam, which is, which is the expression of divinity. Because a lot of communism is based, modern communism is also based in Gnosticism, which blends in a lot of, which is blended with a lot of the Eastern faith, and the idea of Kabbalah, blending with chakra, and all of those Eastern traditions believing in human divinity being in everybody, and exalting humans, and therefore degrading them degrading God in that sense, mm. kind of removing God in that sense. They took it that to the extreme where they don't believe in God, they believe everyone is a God. Mm. Mm. I think that's the biggest harm to mm. the current situation. Mm. So I'm, I'm here thinking, sure, I can talk about Islam and Christianity all day, but today has probably, for me, been one of the most fruitful interactions that I've had. With the trends? In this area, right, right, even right. it wasn't the speaker's corner, right? Because they like to host the protests. And but have they, have they gone now? Are they gone? Or they have gone. They, they they got here around twelve, and they left. They left around like two or three. Oh, they weren't here that long then. Oh, okay. They got here earlier. Right. Earlier. They like to come early to avoid the basic people mm -hmm. as well. So you have to be very soft voiced and go from secular into. Because if you start with, I was speaking earlier, because the other person was saying, no, we start with Tawhid. And I was saying, no, if you try and start with Tawhid with them, they're just going to dismiss you. We're with who? With, with trans rights activists. They're going to oh, be like, oh, you believe in the flying guy in the sky. Believe in the what? The flying guy, flying guy in the sky. Like the flying bearded man in the sky. That's, that's the kind of... Perhaps we need to explain that's not what Tawhid is about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but then they're, they were immediately glossed over and they were like, oh, you're religious, or you're standing over them, or you're Nazis. You can go. Well, it wasn't even Babaya, it was, why are you here? You should probably leave. Oh, it's that time of year, wasps are now. I haven't seen a wasp for ages. Salam. Yeah, so... Um, I do think there's something to be said, especially because of the, the fact that Islam has retained its masculinity in a way that I think is coming back to Catholicism. However... You think so? I think the way to, in my opinion, talking to Muslims here has grounded me in my traditional Catholicism because it's gotten me to go back and read my scripture and but have do, a better But don't you think the, the Catholic the Church today is becoming more secularized uh, and, and more kind of at home within the culture, the Western secular liberal culture. I get that I impression. Think that's a terrible, terrible thing. I think to say or that you, you agree it's happening? Yeah, oh, okay. I but, think I think that if real traditional Catholics were here like they were during the earlier periods, then it would be a lot more than getting killed. But, like traditional Catholics, if like I'm, I would consider myself at this point to be a traditional Catholic, but I am still quite tame. Quite, you know, quite, quite, quite tame. 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 Okay. Especially considered, considering to a lot of the Gen Z Catholics that I've seen on all the YouTube channels, because yeah. they're, they're very much we're sick of Vatican II in this generation. They're going to go the opposite way. I, th I think they would benefit uh, hugely from considering Islam as an alternative. 
because m many of their uh, uh, disillusionments with the Catholic Church are, 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 are real, but they will find an answer in, in Islam. So about the role of men and women, for example, what, uh, what is a man, what is a woman, uh, how are we to live our lives as, as families, uh, uh, and so on. There are incredible answers in Islam, which have sadly have been lost now in Catholicism, which no longer teaches these things at all now since Vatican II, in my experience. I mean, you, you may believe them, but in general, I don't hear them from the, the church. And I, and I get the feed from the Catholic church. I keep my, I like to know what they're doing. And they never talk about these things. Uh, they talk about some good things. They talk about poverty and so on. Yeah, that's good. But, but when it comes to men and women, it's all, well, it, it, it's just like the rest of the culture. It, it's like, well, men and women should go out to work and they should be treated equally and feminism is okay. What? You know, this is not what you're talking about. And it's not the religion, uh, the, the, the healthy way that we should live our lives. Because men and women are different and they have different roles and so on. So Islam really is the only one preserving God's religion uh, without but change. But it's without Christ's divinity. Of course. And so that's why. Of course. Get but as I say, the, the Gospels present Jesus in the earlier tradition as denying his divinity. In Mark chapter 10, he denies his divinity. And in Mark chapter 12, he affirms the Shema, which is the, 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 uh, the creed of, of, of Moses, which is the same as the creed of, of Islam. You keep, and you keep talking about Tawheed over and over again and I again don't want you to waste your breath on me because I already believe that I believe in Tawheed. Okay. But you say you believe that the Father is God, the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God. With respect, my friend, that is not Tawheed. That is not Tawheed. That's not but what Jesus the Catholic taught. Understanding of Tawheed. But Jesus didn't teach that, Moses didn't teach that, Abraham didn't teach that, Muhammad didn't teach that, peace be upon them all. We must go by what they have told us. We can't invent our own religion. We can't add things to it and but change we, it because we, we're Catholics or we follow we follow the Vatican. We can't do this. The kingdom, right? We have the understanding that Peter was given the keys. So you, you had the power to change the creed of God. No. To change Moses' creed. The, the creed, no, the Tawhid. The, the doctrine through, through, through progressive revelation. Oh, I see. So what Jesus taught can be changed and updated according to your beliefs. Is this what you're saying? No, I believe that dogma can be created based off of that plus additional information. Based on what? Plus additional information. Well, where, where does Jesus or, or, Muhammad, uh, or, or Abraham or Moses say that the yeah, creed I about God can I be changed? I can't argue with you on that. I can't argue with you on Tawheed. But if you can't understand the Trinity... I don't understand the Trinity. It, I, I, I don't understand I don't the Trinity. I that I can help you. I don't understand the Trinity. Help me to understand it. I think I've tried to talk about the Trinity before. We've gone around in circles. There's a salam. spiritual aspect to it as well. If, you're not, if your heart isn't open to the idea of understanding the Trinity, you won't understand. I used to be a Catholic who believed it profoundly. As a, as a Catholic theological student... What at, uh, you uh, to move away? Um, if you want to know. Okay. Well, uh, I was at a Catholic college as a Catholic theology student, at, uh, as an undergraduate, studying the Catholic tradition, the Bible, the New Testament in Greek. And I, what I discovered there was that the later Christian tradition, the Catholic tradition, has changed the teaching of Jesus. That Jesus himself originally did not teach what Catholics believe that he said, but that the Catholics have added to and changed the teaching of Jesus. And I discovered that in a Catholic college. And I can tell you which one it was, if you want to know. Um, as a, as, as, a, as, a, as a student, no, as a student in London, and so I discovered this as a Catholic, and I had, and when I then encountered Islam, which which perfectly dovetailed with this discovery. Do you know, do you know Matt Frat? Who? Matt Frat with the Quinos. Oh yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yeah. spoke to a, to a to a Calvinist student who spoke to Scott Howe. He was a Calvinist. I know he's got. I've got. I've read some of his books. Left. Yeah, yeah. Left and move over I've to read some of his books. Yeah. So it's possible, it's when I was a Catholic, I used to be quite a fanboy of Scott Hand. Well, it's supposed to be possible to come to realizations while you're studying at an institution which is based one way, based off of the way that you view things, understand things in a different perspective. I, th I think the weakness of Catholicism is Jesus himself, that you misunderstand Jesus was. That, that, that's the issue. So. I'm afraid you're not going to find it. <laughs> anyway, maybe we're going around in circles. We are. I'd like to talk about other things which might be a little bit more fruitful and not I talked about so much. <laughs> I will prepare. Away, you away, are out for Jesus. I am the well, we, we finished now. We've... Oh.